Today, Donald Trump speaking to, at a rally said something so outrageous, it even shocked me. So how is that possible? Well, I know Donald Trump, I know all the insane things he said, all the hateful things he said. How could he go over the top even for himself? Well, you're about to see he's first talking about Hillary Clinton's judges and then listen to what he says at the end. If she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But, but I'll tell you what. What on God's green earth? Are you kidding me? Now he's talking about perhaps political assassination of his opponent. Maybe the Second Amendment people can do something about it. That's not that veiled. That's not a dog whistle. That's a human whistle. We all just heard it. That's unbelievable. No, they got to get him out of the race. I'm serious. Before, I, you know, yeah, he's outrageous. Yes, he's a populist. Hey, look, the Republicans picked him. Every Republicans say, no, that's not our party. No, it is your party. They selected him. Your voters, not our voters. Your voters selected him. Not the independents, not the Democrats. You guys did. This is your monster. You created him. You got to get him out of the race. We can't have a guy running for president of the United States who acts like a tin pot dictator. Ah, maybe we should get the Second Amendment guys to take care of her. No, it's beyond the pale even for Donald Trump, even for the Republican Party. I know a lot of Republicans have already bailed on him, but this is way too much. They all got to say, no, you got to go. I mean, what do we need to do? Do we need to bribe you, you pathetic loser who pretends to be a billionaire when you don't even have that kind of money and you just, I've seen him and I took cover this on the show before where he's like hinting at maybe 150 million dollars will get me out of the race, maybe more will get me out of the race, maybe it'll be a five billion. Is he trying to get out of the race here? And is he negotiating in public with the Republican donors? Bribe the guy, do whatever you got to do. And some Democrats are saying, oh no, he'll be easy to beat. Let's, no, 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 no. The guy's a danger to the Republic. He's talking about how the election is going to be rigged. We haven't even had the election. What do you mean it's rigged? If it's going to be rigged three months from now, let's get on it so it doesn't get rigged. No, he's saying, don't listen to democracy. No matter what the vote is, it, I am the winner no matter what, and I will enforce that, and maybe you Second Amendment people can help me out. No, we can't have this in a democracy. We can't have a guy like this. So it's not on us. There's nothing we can do about it. But Republicans, you got to figure this out because you've got a monster on your hands. And by the way, your voters aren't much better. Let's look at the background. Now, one guy I noticed immediately, and I think even the New York Times notes uh, the guy's reaction. You see the guy in the beard in the back going, wow. But also look at his wife's reaction too, though. Watch this. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But, but I'll tell you what, that will be a horrible day. So he goes, wow. And she's like, giddy over it. Yeah, the Second Amendment people, maybe they'll execute our opponent. Okay, but not alone, J.R. Jackson, our producer, found a lot of people in the crowd who seem to get a good belly laugh at the, at the idea of uh, Hillary Clinton's assassination. Let's take a look at uh, these other folks in the room. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But, but I'll tell you what, that will be a horrible day. That'll be a horrible day. Here's another one. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But, but I'll tell you what. That will be a horrible day. That, that's not a laughing matter. That's not an acceptable joke because there are people who might act on it. Donald Trump's insane enough. But what about his supporters? He's cued them to violence before. What if they get cued again? I'm going to show you one last guy from the rally. Now you got to look at the all the way at the lower right hand corner here. Uh, the guy in the red hat, make America great again. Make America murderous again hat. Let's watch. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But, but I'll tell you what, that will be a horrible day. <laughs> a horrible day when we execute her. <laughs> yeah, okay, man, this is insanity. And you wonder why I talk about why we can't have Donald Trump. And then I got progressives telling me, oh, no, she might be, he might be better than Hillary Clinton. No, 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 no. This guy doesn't believe in our Constitution. He doesn't believe in our former government. Are you mental? Who would vote for this monster? I mean, I know there's people at the rallies like, ha, Second Amendment people will take care of her. Oh, horrible day, right? Now, look, uh, Eric uh, Swalwell, uh, who's Democrat of California, made a good point. Secret Service should investigate Donald Trump. 
If anybody else did this and talked about Second Amendment remedies against one of the opponents, if they had done it to Trump, of course the Secret Service should investigate it. Now, but we got to investigate one of the guys running in the race. Now, of course, afterwards, his campaign puts out a statement trying to excuse it away. But look at how weak this is. This is their sad excuse. They say, Second Amendment people have amazing spirit and are tremendously unified, which gives them great political power. And this year, they will be voting in record numbers, and it won't be for Hillary Clinton, it will be for uh, Donald Trump. But that is not what it means for the Second Amendment people to take care of her. You know it, that's why you said it would be a horrible day. Now, if you thought it was great that the Second Amendment people are unified and have a lot of political power, and they'll make sure that she loses and you win the election, that would not be a horrible day, would it? It would be a great day for you. So that's not what you meant. You meant they'll take care of her in the other way, with a weapon. So now, Senator Chris Murphy, a Democrat of Connecticut, uh, who's uh, you know very much for uh, making sure that uh, we have some degree of gun control, some background checks, so that crazed people don't take the law into their own hands and do crazy things. Well, uh, he made a, a great point. He said, "This isn't play. Unstable people with powerful guns and unhinged hatred for Hillary are listening to you, Donald Trump." So in the past, when he said, "Get him out of here," they'd physically throw out uh, protesters. He, when he called for violence, he would get violence. People get punched in the face at his rallies, and 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 people have attacked others and say, chanted Trump while they're doing it. Now you've got a, a guy running for president saying, "Oh, the Second Amendment people, maybe you could take care of Hillary Clinton." I, I can't begin to tell you how unacceptable it is. And yes, it's the Frankenstein the Republican Party is responsible for. Sharon Angle, running against Harry Reid, talked about Second Amendment remedies and how you had to fight against tyranny. So that was also not very coded. That was also very clear. And you know, in the convention, they started chanting, "Lock her up, lock her up." And I told you, man, don't go down that road. That's a dangerous road. You're getting all these people riled up to take some sort of physical action against her. And now we're at the Second Amendment people having to do something horrible. Republican Party, I don't know what you're going to do, but you got to get him out of the race. We can't have uh, this country and this world endangered by this maniac. <laughs> and Secret Service, at least talk to the guy, you're right next to him. Say, hey, you know what? You can't threaten to assassinate your opponents. We live in a democracy, jackass. You know, the Young Turks has a whole two hour show every single day, and you can get it ad free if you're a member. TYTnetwork.com slash join. Go.